Perched high above the ancient Inca capital of Cusco, the enigmatic fortress of Sacsayhuaman defies explanation, challenging both historians and engineers alike. How did the Incas, with their rudimentary tools, move and shape stones weighing up to 200 tons, fitting them so precisely that not even a blade of grass can slip between? What deeper purpose lay behind its construction? Was it purely a military stronghold, or did it serve sacred ceremonial roles tied to the Inca's cosmic beliefs? As towering zigzagging walls gaze over Cusco, this ancient structure whispers of forgotten methods and lost knowledge. Its design, said to resemble the head of a puma, echoes not only a fierce defensive strategy, but a symbolic connection to the spiritual landscape that defined Inca life. Who were the architects behind this monumental task, and what drove them to create such a masterpiece? More importantly, what secrets lie buried beneath these stones, waiting to be uncovered by those daring to ask the right questions? In this video, the mysteries of Sacsayhuaman will be unraveled, from the precise stonework to its role in Inca society. The construction of Sacsayhuaman, a monumental Inca fortress perched on a hilltop 755 feet above Cusco, reflects the ingenuity and sophistication of Inca architecture. Built during the reign of Pachacuti Inca Yupanqui in the mid-15th century, the citadel strategically overlooks the northern marshlands of the city and is often thought to represent the head of a puma in the layout of Cusco, symbolizing power. Archaeological studies indicate that the site had been previously occupied by earlier cultures, but the Incas enhanced it as part of their architectural vision. Four key architects, Hualpa Rimachi, Maracanchi, Acahuana, and Kala Kunchui, played a role in the construction under the guidance of Pachacuti, or his son, Thupa Inca Yupanqui. The initial structures at the site were built using mud and clay, later replaced by the precise, mortarless Inca stonework. Massive polygonal stones, some over 27 feet tall and weighing up to 200 tons, were sourced from quarries 22 miles away at Rumacolca. The process of transporting these stones, a feat that remains baffling to modern engineers, relied on ropes, logs, poles, levers, and ramps. The stones were roughly shaped at the quarry and refined on site, with some walls taking months to complete. The use of interlocking blocks and inward-leaning walls allowed the structure to withstand seismic activity, a feature that has preserved the fortress through centuries of earthquakes. The construction of Sacsayhuaman was a massive labor effort, with around 20,000 conscripted workers involved through the Inca's Mita system. Of these, 6,000 were responsible for quarrying and shaping the stones, while 4,000 dug trenches and laid foundations. The fortress featured three massive zigzagging terraces extending over 1,000 feet in length. These terraces served both defensive and ceremonial purposes, with a large plaza likely used for communal gatherings and rituals. Sacsayhuaman played a significant role during the Spanish conquest in 1536, where a fierce battle took place between the Inca and Spanish forces. Chroniclers like Pedro Ciesa de Leon and Garcilaso de la Vega marveled at the precision of the stonework. Following the conquest, much of the fortress was dismantled, with smaller stones repurposed for colonial buildings in Cusco. Today, only the largest stones remain, standing as a testament to the skill of Inca engineers. While the fortress's primary purpose is debated, its defensive features and commanding views suggest it was crucial for the protection of Cusco. The site likely held religious significance as well, with some structures possibly serving as temples. Archaeologists have also uncovered pre-Inca ruins beneath the site, indicating that Sacsayhuaman was part of a long-standing tradition of occupation, even before the Inca expansion. This rich history is matched by the fortress's awe-inspiring design, which remains one of the most impressive feats of Inca architecture. Built in the 15th century under Pachacuti Inca Yupanqui, 
Sacsayhuaman was more than a military bastion. It was a center for religious and ceremonial activities. The layout features three massive zigzagging terraces, each stretching around 540 meters in length and towering up to 18 meters in height. These terraces, made from giant polygonal stones, some weighing over 200 tons, were fitted with such remarkable precision that mortar wasn't needed. This zigzag pattern was not only a visual marvel, but also a tactical defense designed to trap enemies in crossfire. The genius of Sexai Waman lies in this seamless fusion of practicality and spiritual symbolism, making it a monumental testament to Inca ingenuity. The Inca were known for harmonizing their constructions with the natural environment, and Sacsayhuaman reflects this mastery. The fortress closely follows the shape of the surrounding mountains, and the interplay of light and shadow on the terraces mirrors the natural topography. This integration demonstrates the Inca's profound connection to nature and their understanding of aesthetics. Beyond the fortress's imposing walls, Chroniclers described additional structures such as towers, courtyards, and storage buildings. A large circular tower at the center of the fortress, believed to have been four or five stories tall, once stood as the heart of Sacsayhuaman. The remnants of these towers, as well as a sophisticated water system of cisterns and aqueducts, can still be observed today. Behind the main fortress, an area called Suchuna contains additional terraces and a stepped stone platform, possibly serving as a shrine or astronomical observatory. The fortress's design encapsulates the Inca's architectural genius, blending symbolic meaning, defense, and functionality. Sacsayhuaman was not only a place of protection, but also a site for spiritual ceremonies and scientific observation. Today, the ruins stand as a testament to the engineering prowess and cultural depth of the Inca civilization. Beyond its architectural marvel, Sacsayhuaman's true significance in Inca society was much broader. While the fortress was undoubtedly built to house more than 1,000 warriors, its primary role was not strictly military. The Incas, having faced relatively few external threats, used the site more often as a sacred space for religious and ceremonial functions. At its core stood a temple dedicated to the sun god, Inti, underscoring its role in spiritual life. The large plaza, likely a gathering spot for community rituals, further emphasizes how Sacsayhuaman transcended its defensive purpose, serving as a center for both religious and social activities. In addition to its religious role, Sacsayhuaman functioned as a crucial storage site for a variety of goods, including arms, armor, food, textiles, metal tools, and precious metals. These resources were essential not only for the military, but also for the maintenance of the Inca state's daily activities and infrastructure. This dual purpose, both spiritual and logistical, made Sacsayhuaman a critical part of the Inca Empire. However, Sacsayhuaman's defensive capabilities were put to the test during the Spanish conquest of Peru in 1536. After the Spaniards captured Cusco, the Inca forces laid siege to the city, and Sacsayhuaman became a key strategic location. Francisco Pizarro's brother, Juan Pizarro, led an attack on the fortress, successfully scaling its towering walls despite intense resistance from the Inca defenders. The capture of Sacsayhuaman was pivotal in securing Spanish control over Cusco, though Juan Pizarro lost his life during the assault. The siege marked one of the few times the fortress was used in a large-scale military engagement. Over time, much of Sacsayhuaman was dismantled by the Spaniards, who repurposed its stones for the construction of Spanish colonial buildings in Cusco. What remains today are the largest stones, too massive to be easily moved, serving as a testament to the advanced engineering and architectural skills of the Inca. The precision of the stone masonry, particularly the tight interlocking of stones without mortar, has allowed the structure to withstand centuries of earthquakes, 
further solidifying its reputation as one of the most impressive feats of pre-Columbian architecture. Today, Sacsayhuaman stands as both an archaeological site and a cultural symbol. The site is the focal point of the annual Inti Raimi, the Festival of the Sun, a tradition that continues to be celebrated by modern Peruvians. The fortress, with its blend of military, ceremonial, and storage functions, remains a powerful reminder of the multifaceted nature of Inca society and their ability to integrate both practicality and spirituality into their most iconic structures. However, the legacy of Sacsayhuaman took a darker turn after the Spanish conquest of Peru. Following their victory, the invaders repurposed the site, dismantling large sections of the fortress to build colonial structures in Cusco. The smaller stones were used to erect governmental buildings, churches, and homes for Spanish settlers, erasing much of the original grandeur. Yet the largest stones, immovable due to their sheer weight, were left untouched, preserving a glimpse of the once mighty walls that still stand today. Chroniclers like Garcilaso de la Vega mourned this loss, observing that nearly every house in Cusco had been built using the remnants of Sacsayhuaman, a testament to both its destruction and enduring presence in the city. To prevent any further use of the site by rebellious Inca forces, the Spanish went so far as to bury parts of the ruins under layers of earth. This effectively concealed Sacsayhuaman for centuries until its rediscovery by Peruvian archaeologists in 1934. The ruins that were uncovered not only revealed the fortress's impressive size and construction, but also its deep significance to Inca culture. Built in the 15th century by Pachacuti and his successors, Sacsayhuaman was more than just a military fortress. It had ceremonial functions, featuring large plazas that likely hosted religious rituals and communal activities. Today, the remaining ruins of Sacsayhuaman serve as a prominent tourist destination and a cultural landmark. The site forms the backdrop for the annual Inti Raimi Festival, a modern reenactment of the Inca Festival of the Sun, which takes place during the winter solstice. This celebration honors the Inca sun god, Inti, and reconnects the Peruvian people with their ancestral heritage. In addition to Inti Raimi, other modern uses of the site include Huarachicui, a festival held each September, and informal activities by locals, such as jogging and tai chi, on the vast fields within the fortress's walls. Although much of Sacsayhuaman was lost during the Spanish dismantling, its rediscovery and preservation have allowed it to remain a symbol of Inca engineering and cultural resilience. Now protected as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Sacsayhuaman continues to inspire awe and wonder for both its historical significance and its enduring presence. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and share it with your friends and family who might be interested in the topic. Consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss our upcoming videos. See you in the next video.